Hi, this film shall tell us about acute psychotic disorders. Acute here means of short duration or those that have started off rapidly. So if you're ready, here is the expert. Hi, acute psychotic disorders are usually not very difficult to diagnose. The characteristic symptoms include hearing voices when no one is speaking, strange beliefs of fear, unexplainable behavior changes like strange, aggressive or frightful behavior, confusion or apprehension. The presentation may vary from patient to patient, but you can make a diagnosis of acute psychotic disorder if any one or more of the following features are present in the absence of an organic mental disorder. Onset of symptoms reaches a diagnosable level within two weeks. Features are hallucinations, false perception during the wakeful state, delusions, firm and fixed or unshakable beliefs that are not shared by people of similar social and educational background, no matter how much logic or evidence you may produce to the contrary, the person will stick to his or her beliefs. Magli disordered thinking, strange or disjointed speech. Gross behavioral disorganization, for example, stupor. Other associated features include social withdrawal, suspiciousness, aggression, agitation, or bizarre behavior. Labile emotional states. <laughs> One of my friends died in 20 years back. <laughs> you can see that somewhere these patients are disconnected with reality. Even their appearance points in that direction. Hence, this is a psychotic disorder. And because the illness has rapid onset, this is an acute psychotic disorder. The prognosis is usually good, provided the treatment is initiated early. The management begins with sharing of essential information with the family or the caregiver. They must be told that acute episodes often have good prognosis. The treatment should continue for several months even after symptoms have subsided. Stress and stimulation must be minimized. Avoid argument, confrontation or criticism. The patient should be gradually encouraged to resume his normal activities once the symptoms have subsided. This shall help the family to cope with the situation better. For pharmacological treatment, there are many antipsychotic medicines available across the world, but risperidone tablets or injections 4 to 6 milligrams per day are very effective. The dose should be built up gradually in a week starting with 2 milligrams per day. If risperidone is not available, try haloperidol tablets or injections 5 to 10 milligrams a day as an alternate. A severely agitated or aggressive patient may also require injection lorazepam 4 milligrams intravenously or intramuscularly stat or tablet lorazepam 1 to 2 milligrams up to four times a day. 
to control the agitation. But lorazepam should not be given for more than a week. The antipsychotic medication, however, should continue for six months after the symptoms have resolved. At a lower dose, if necessary, to balance the side effects. Hey, let me interrupt you here for a bit. You can now manage acute psychotic disorders. But what if the patient is too violent? Well, don't worry. Watch our film on the management of a violent patient in this series. Okay? And now back to the expert. Thanks. We know that medicines do have side effects. For antipsychotics, the common ones are acute dystonia or spasm. For example, of the neck muscle, which are managed with benzodiazepines or anti-Parkinsonian drugs. Akathisia, that is severe motor restlessness, is managed with a reduction in the dose of antipsychotic or by using beta blockers. Symptoms like tremors and akinesia are managed with oral anti-Parkinsonian drugs. For example, trihexyphenidyl 2 to 4 mg a day. A rare but serious side effect of antipsychotic medication that you must be aware of is the neuroleptic malignant syndrome. It is characterized by severe motor side effects, fever, rigidity and hypertension or hypotension. This requires immediate attention. Antipsychotic medication should be immediately stopped. Tablet bromocriptine 2.5 mg three times a day up to a total dose of 10 mg or tablet amantadine 100 mg three times a day oral or parenteral should be given till symptoms resolve which usually takes three days or so. Consultation with a specialist is advisable in this condition. You must also consult a specialist if the patient is not responding to treatment even after one month. I hope this will help you treat patients with acute psychotic disorders. Thank you. That was simple, wasn't it? But if you have missed out on any point, please watch the film again. Or just watch the other films in this series. See you around. Bye-bye.